All right, the market for sports cards of all kinds is red hot. Lori Wallace is checking out a spot in Lincoln with everything you could possibly need. Hi, Lori. Hey there, good morning you guys. Yeah, so this is funny because the sneaker heads started getting into the trading cards ah. and now it's a whole vibe. So <laughs> Epic Sports Cards, they've been open for about a year here in Lincoln. Check out this vending machine. They call it Snacks in packs. So you get your barbecue <laughs> chips and either your Pokemon cards and your baseball cards and there you have it. Everything you need, Brett. So you opened about a year ago. There is such a desire for these cards in this market right now. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Uh, guys are coming in here every day trying to trying to fulfill that need and get their sports cards. I'm completely different than years ago when I started, but uh, it's a whole different thing now. Okay, yeah. so we're going to try and get you through this tour, show you as much as we can. We're going to start here with this machine. You're the yeah. only person in Northern California yeah. that has this yeah. exact so that's machine. That's called the, scar the card score. What it's, what it's going to do is it's going to take a high definition scan of the front and the back of the card and then go off to 100 different graders. They're gonna grade the card, and about a week later, you'll get the, you'll get your scores in an email. And then about a week after that, you'll get a one touch with a sticker on it with your scores. And yeah. there is a lot of money to be made yeah. on these cards. Yes, completely, yeah. There's okay, a... so I'm gonna step on this side yep. so, he can, okay. so he can get around here. Why don't you kind of take me through the case here, show me what yeah. you have. So we, got, we got packs in here, so your individual packs. You can buy uh, blaster packs, uh, some, some hobby packs, as well as uh, stuff you can find at uh, your local department stores. Okay, and Brad, I think we should mention for people that aren't really into this thing, mm -hmm. it is very difficult now to go into a retail store mm -hmm. and find these cards right. for whatever reason. Right, it is. I mean, there's people that, that, you know, we call them the flippers. They go and they buy all the boxes and then they come to, you know, they'll put them on eBay or put them on uh, Facebook Marketplace, something like that. And, Make, make a good amount of money doing it. Yeah, it never fails. When my 11-year-old asks me to take him to Target to get basketball cards, we get there and the shelves are empty. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. People yep. are going in when they find out when they're hitting the shelves, they go in and they clear them out. Yeah, yeah. but the majority of the money is made in, in the hobby boxes, obviously. These are a little bit higher priced, but uh, you're going to get your guaranteed autographs, um, your RPA cards, uh, you know, one like this card right here, like the Trevor Lawrence here. Okay, and this is your hottest card that you have right now? This is, this is a $5,000 card that's uh, number to 10. There's only 10 in the world. This is called an RPA. It's a rookie. It's got the rookie logo, his patches, a couple patches from his jerseys, and an autograph on there. So for the little kids at home watching right now, the best piece of advice when you open these packs, put them in these little protective yep. covers yeah, because the value it. goes down immediately. Yep, yep, the value will go down. I mean, it, when when you're talking about cards, you're talking about grading. Uh, they're graded on four different things. They're graded on surface, edges, corners, and centering. So okay. that's what that's what people are looking at. And a real quick look behind us here. He mentioned those hobby boxes. I think the least expensive hobby box starting right around two hundred and fifty-five dollars. Yeah, yeah, you have uh, the NBA draft there. There's two hundred and fifty-five bucks. But the baseball, you can get baseball for a little bit cheaper. Um, you can find some boxes for you know around a hundred bucks. Okay, so as you go down the case here, yeah. he has baseball and then ending way down here yeah. uh, with the Pokemon. And you yeah. have everything uh, for those Pokemon lovers, the Fortnite gamers, yep. you have the magic, all of that. Yeah, so in Placer County, we have one of the largest uh, Pokemon selections in uh, in Placer County, but it's uh, Pokemon is really, really hot right now. There's a lot of people, uh, you know, I get people coming in every day just for Pokemon. Okay, and we got to wrap it up here in just a second, but behind uh, Terry, our photographer here, you see all these tables. I'm like, what are these for? What are you doing here? Yeah, so we've got, we've got tables where people can sit down and converse and open up packs, open up boxes, and also the play mats for the Pokemon. If they play the game, uh, they can come in and play the game. And then in a couple weeks, we'll have a full, uh, full refrigerator full of beer. Yeah. Well, check it out. You have all the things, and then, of course, the games will be up on the big TV. Yeah. So come on in, watch the game, open your cards, have a beer with some friends. Not so bad, guys. I'll send it back to you. Expensive hobby, <laughs> but there is something about opening that card pack. And trust me, I watch my kid do it. When they're tearing that thing open to see what they're going to get, yeah. it's a whole thing. It's mm. a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. I, uh, I enjoy watching my oldest kid, Hi. Doug Mays, director Doug Mays, <laughs> open up packs just like that. <laughs> It's so cute. With that does he? Does he yeah. do that too? Oh, he gets very excited. I mean, I mean, it's a whole thing. <laughs> it's very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> and the phone's ringing. Oh, and one quick thing: the uh -huh. store is not open today, oh, so okay. can't come here today. But they, uh, they are on uh, Facebook. You can check their hours there, and we'll link all the information to our website too. GoodDaySacramento.com. Okay. Got it. Sounds good. Like the Rivercats off mm -hmm. on Mondays. Okay.